What's up guys? I'm back with some more Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to be doing another character overview today. I thought it might be a good time to bring back this series. It's been a little while. And today we are talking about literally my favorite character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is Cyclops, okay? I think Cyclops is pretty amazing. I think, in fact, he should really be sort of the main character of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I think he represents the game really, really well, and I'm going to explain why. So sort of the number one Capcom representative in this game is Ryu. But unfortunately, Ryu is kind of bad in this game. His normals are like so stubby. It's really hard for him to combo anything. His air combos are like so bad and short. So for fans of the Shoto archetype, uh, Ryu is kind of a letdown, but instead in this game, we have the ultimate Shoto here, Cyclops. Look, he's got the projectile, he's got the hurricane kick, he's got the dragon punch. My man is basically Marvel's version of Ryu. And not only do I think he represents the sort of like fighting game protagonist mechanics well, he also really handles Marvel vs. Capcom systems well. One of the big features of this game was selectable assists. For the first time, every character had three assists and you could pick which one you wanted. And Cyclops' assists are amazing, some of the best in the game. His uppercut assist is extremely invincible, it goes through everything, and you can combo off it. His projectile assist is pretty decent, you know, it's gonna go through a lot of stuff, it's gonna let you combo off it with a lot of characters. And one of my favorites is his hurricane kick assist. This kick is so good as an assist. You can use it to set up combos really easily. You can use it for like mix-ups and cross-ups and all that kind of stuff as well. So this assist is just really fun and strong to use. Although competitively, most people use his uppercut assist simply because having an invincible assist that goes through everything is extremely valuable. But here's the thing about Cyclops, a lot of people think of him as like an assist only character like Captain Commando or Psylocke or something like that. But he's a very, very powerful point character as well, probably top 10 point characters in the game in my opinion. One of the big reasons for this is his meter build. You can see you're able to whiff a lot of jumping heavy kicks to build meter, similar to Storm. You know, Storm is well known for floating in the air and whiffing buttons to build meter. So you can build a lot of meter. You can come down with his down plus heavy kick, which is a very powerful attack for beating out anti-airs. And then he utilizes the meter extremely well as well. He's got very good supers that he can combo into off of basically any situation. He can even punish stuff full screen with a projectile into super. I mean, we've all seen what Justin Wong can do with this character. Once you build up a lot of meter, it doesn't matter how low Cyclops is, he can make miracles happen. Some other things that are nice with Cyclops, his heavy punch buttons are projectiles and he can kind of run behind them so he can use this to play neutral as well. He has a command grab, but as you can see it's very slow but he can combo off it so that's kind of cool. He has an amazing anti-air normal with his down forward heavy kick. This is really really effective for hitting the opponent out of the air. It's got a massive hitbox and he's even got an infinite. Now this is very very hard. I think this is one of the hardest infinites in the game. But let's see if I can at least do a couple reps here. Oh, you can see it uncomboed. But that's the idea. It is possible to infinite people this way, so he's got a lot of stuff, man. I always tell people, don't sleep on Cyclops. If you think that he's just a good assist, that's not all he is. He's an amazing, amazing point character and really adept at making comebacks, as we've seen happen many times in the past. So that's about all I've got to say about the character for now, but I do have some matches to show you guys. My friend Mothman and I played on Null DC Bear, the emulator. Uh, make sure to check out Mothman's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MothmanFGC. He plays a lot of Marvel 3 and Marvel 2 on there. So check that out and uh, enjoy these matches we played. We've got a match with Gamma Assist because I want to show you guys the power of the Cyclone Kick. And then we got some with the Anti-Air Assist as well, the more traditional Cyclops Assist. So thanks for watching guys and stick around and enjoy the matches. Such an ugly color. I can't believe I picked it again.
<laughs> oh no. I had to spend it. Yeah, it's worth it. Get the kill. Dude, the, the short characters though. Yo! Yo! Let's go! <laughs> oh, a little far. Nice, confirm. Hayato! Oh, yikes. See if this works. Nope! <laughs> None of the DHCs work! <laughs> it's just for intimidation. It doesn't even hit. <laughs> oh, nice. I love this super. Yeah. Hit him. Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no. Died right there. <laughs> nice. Trade. I was trying to go for the birdie loop, but uh, uh, you were, the the one meter you had was too scary. Ooh! Oh, oh so what close. if though? What if though? No, oh, come on. Ow. Nice. Nice. Oh, the awkward whiff launcher. Sentinel? Sentinel, I was mashing too hard. I'm <laughs> sorry. I love how he goes, yes, when you call him in. <laughs> oh no. You were more confident with the buttons. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. We're live, we're live. Hit him! No! <laughs> <laughs> that was so sick. Every character is so good with drones. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's so cool. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, we take those. <laughs> no.
Oh, that's not what I want. Let's just restore the team order real quick. Oh, fuck. I missed the tag in Bison. Cyclops, bro. Cyclops <laughs> enables everything. Oh! <laughs> nice. Dude, that's pretty sick. The teleport with the drones. Yeah, yeah, this I team's like really that. fun.